The Cog Civil War, also known as the Cog Lapse, was an internal conflict within the Valrish nation called the Confederation of Garcheros between the Socialist Provisional Government, or the SPG, and the Confederation Government. The conflict lasted four days and ultimately resulted in the dissolution of the Cog. After its independence from Ravengard, Helsia joined the Confederation of Garcheros. Shortly after this, a Helsian king sold most of Helsia's land to the Confederation without asking the people of Helsia about it, creating the state of Gaiul on the Helsian Peninsula. Later, in Nueva Trinidad, at the time Ravengard territory, joined Cog and also purchased a large chunk of land from Helsia, creating the state of Castile. These partitions created a strong sense of resentment in the Helsian people and an ideology of Helsian revanchism became prevalent among the Helsian people. In December 2021, Helsia, at the time a mid-level state within COG by terms of population, received a large influx of people when the city of Miklagard was founded in the northern part of the peninsula. This new city plus a new influx of recruitment led to Helsia becoming the largest state in COG by population. Several members of this new city also became a part of the Helsian government and they helped implement a new constitution for Helsia, turning the state more democratic. These new Helsians, some notable ones being Nomi Simon 10, Tiger Ben, Bijan and Aaron X4B, decided that they wished to reclaim the land that they saw as stolen from Helsia. This process started when Helsia threatened to the state of Castile with war in order to annex it. Despite protests from the central COG government, Helsia continued, pointing out that war between COG states was not explicitly forbidden in the COG constitution, which guaranteed states full autonomy. Finally, the COG delegates led by Boyo relented, drafting a treaty which enabled Helsia to annex Castile in exchange for a payment of around 60,000 coins. After succeeding forcefully retaking land, the Helsian government realized this strategy might be used again to great effect. Due to the aforementioned surge in population, Helsia managed to gain three ministry positions in the January elections, with Simon, Bijan, and Aaron being elected as Prime Minister of Economy, Minister of Defense, and Vice President, respectively. Due to Helsia's military, culture, and population, Helsians also became a majority in the active COG military. When Iraq had declared war on most of the nations in the northeast of Eltam, including Koch, Helsia was one of the primary states advocating for resistance against the invaders, while states as Garcetto and Pansioni advocated for being peacefully annexed by Iraq. Helsia spent hundreds of thousands on war preparations, but threatened to secede when it found out that the then president Boyo planned to surrender. When Boyo realized that many people in Koch didn't want to surrender without a fight, he chose to resign, making Vice President Aaron X4B the new president of COG, becoming the first Helsian to hold office. Hureka later backed down, and the war never happened, but Helsia was left disgusted by the perceived cowardice of the other COG states. On the 14th of January 2022, a small force of Helsians led by Simon and Bijan began building a large military fortress in Nueva Trinidad land, intending to use it as a base to reclaim the state for Helsia. After four days of construction, the fortress was complete and was named Nordlis. Shortly after the completion of the fortress, it was noticed by Nueva Trinidad Governor 8888K, who swiftly called out the Helsians that had built the fortress. In response, Bijan, one of the consuls of Helsia, published a declaration claiming Nueva Trinidad to be Helsian land that had been illegally seized and stating that Helsia had annexed the state. This declaration was swiftly denounced by Nueva Trinidad. Meanwhile, inside the government, a large number of ministers and government officials led by Vice President Surfport and Stoltum Governor Legham demanded that President Aaron x 4 b would get the military involved to stop Helsia's aggression. The president instead stated that command of the military was by law with the Minister of Defense, which was Bijan, and additionally stated that he would withdraw from mediating the conflict due to a conflict of interests, leaving the issue in the hands of Vice President Cerf and Interior Minister Nub Nub. After Bijan refused to have the military intervene, stating that the military was not meant for state v state disputes, the governors of Nueva Trinidad and Gael decided to merge their states to form the state of Valeska in order to provide a stronger response to the Helsian aggression. Due to this merge, Helsia declared war, citing the merge as an attempt to annex Helsian land. The war declaration sent the entire confederation into turmoil with government
government members once again urging the president and the military to intervene. The president, Aaron X4B, once again cite cited the fact that the president had no authority to order the military to do anything while the Minister of Defense, Bijan, who published the Helsinki War Declaration, once again stated that the military had no place interfering in state matters. Furthermore, they both pointed to the fact that wars on other states were in no way explicitly forbidden in the COG constitution, although many argued that it was heavily implied. Due to the unwillingness of the president to interfere and due to the rising suspicions of his involvement with Helsinki's war, a motion of impeachment was put forward and a vote to remove Aaron X4B as president was made public. However, the vote failed to reach the required 2 to 3 majority. Before the voting was even finished, a number of government members and governors in COG, led by Surfboard and Legham, chose to act, sending a force of around 15 people to occupy Garchetto, claiming to have ousted Aaron X4B as president and declaring a socialist government in COG, demanding change, reformation, and further unity under the authority of an unaffiliated national head. As the confederation fell apart, the socialist government got a recognition and support from the USSE and the COAC, or the Confederation of anarchist communes. The People's Republic of Stoltem, Ionios, Impervia, Gaiol, Nueva Trinidad, Farathador, and Garcero Yawos chose to side with the provisional government. Meanwhile, the Confederation's government got foreign support from Barbosa and, and Irulan, with the Republic of Helsia and the, the Ionios Republic. Shortly after, the revolutionaries launched a raid on Miklagard, the capital of Helsia, briefly occupying the city while Helsian military forces were unavailable. After re establishing control of Miklagard, Aaron X4B denounced the coup as a mob of rebels, and he had a number of Helsing soldiers led by Bijan launch a counter-attack, briefly re-establishing control of Garchetto before withdrawing after not finding any enemies. After realizing that Helsia was still going to attack Nueva Trinidad, which was supporting the SPG, despite the ongoing civil war in Kog, the governor of Garchetto's Boyo declared support for the SPG and threatened Helsia with war. Helsia and the Ionios Republic jointly declared the foundation of the United front a new COG military to fight against the socialist uprising. At the same time, Surfboard declared the foundation of the SPG Revolutionary Army, with the goal of taking over control of COG. The battle would never occur, however, as unbeknownst to all parties involved, Surfboard and Boyo, without consulting the other members of the SPG, had reached out to the Imperator, Neo Aurelia of Eureka, to have Eureka annex all of COG, preferring it to be perceived Helsian domination. After some negotiations, the treaty was drafted and Neo officially declared declared that COG would be joining Eureka. Despite the objections of the COG government that the treaty was illegitimate, Eureka chose to treat it as binding, but gave any states who wished to secede 8 hours to do so. Instead a vote was held in COG and the confederation was dissolved. Eureka annexed Stoltem, Ferrothdor, Pansioni, and most of Ionios, leaving a small area to become its own separate state. After the COG Eureka merge was published, 8888K officially surrendered to Helsia, letting Helsia annex Nueva Trinidad in exchange for retaining control of the city of Nueva Trinidad as a mayor. The Federal Republic of Cognia and the Farmers' Commune of Karsachev chose to not support any group and secede from COG. Helsia also sent an ultimatum to the now independent Gael to join Helsia or there would be war due to their involvement with the SPG and due to Helsia's territorial claims on the land. However, the Gael government was swiftly occupied by residents of the city of Konjo who founded the state of Konkosu which joined the Lunari Empire as a state. This led to a territorial dispute between Helsia and Linares, which would continue for months. In addition to annexing Garcetto, Ferrothdor, Pansioni, Stoltem, and most of Ionios, Eureka intended to invade Helsia to fully establish control over the entire region, but this move was blocked by Barbosan members of the Eureka government, who instead convinced Neo to sign an alliance with Helsia instead. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, it's free and it really helps out the channel. Thank you, peace out, and goodbye.